Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, hopefully this is working. Okay. Hopefully we don't. We're not gonna run into any issues here. Um. So one of the things that I'm running into an issue with, uh, is uh, I used to have um things on my OBS that I don't have anymore which is there used to be a a dock that had like screen transitions but that's not what I need there used to be other things like a uh, actually like showing me output timer scripts but yeah there used to be like a thing with um where twitch would or uh, obs would take like it would give me um like viewer information and like all that stuff but now i just don't have that and um it's it's a little annoying okay so I need to fix this. I know I keep fixing this, but... Pretty much just go away. You want to know another thing? I don't think it's this. It's not. It's the actual video. Did that fix it? No. Okay, that did for like a second. There. Okay. It's fixed now. back here okay it looks pretty weird but whatever it'll do unless I do this Hold on. here's another thing I could do is the now playing just remove it make it that and then and then do this And then, and then adding a, yeah, that's why I, okay, it just cuts off a lot of it. I don't know how much I need, but let me see, can I do a uh, color correction? And then color add. Make it red. There's no reason to have this. Just make it creepily white. <laughs> There's no way I'd be able to fix this unless I specifically designed it to go around it or something. I don't know. 
So I guess that's just gonna be there. It's also not perfect. Hold on. How about now? That's a little bit better. Now it looks a little nicer, I guess. I wonder. Can I add a circle shape? I might just have to do that manually. Like, just make a circle. Just basically build like a kind of, I don't know. Well, um, anyways, uh, so today we're playing Resident Evil. Uh, new Resident Evil 4 is coming out fairly soon. So that's going to be quite exciting. Um. But this is my uh, new computer that I, I um, that I put together, built, and everything, and um, I'm proud of it. This song's good. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, I kind of got it, I got it running enough to where I'm like, okay, this is fine, but, um, yeah, let's, I forgot I have to actually plug it in. I need to plug this in. Okay, good and good enough. Oh, that is cut off again. Okay. Yeah, this is why I do it like this. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright, um. Gaming. Okay. Alright. Okay. Video games. Right? Video games. <laughs> video games. I love video games. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Fuck me. 
Okay. This table is a mess right now. But, uh, <laughs> I don't have to do. I probably should put my plate up, shouldn't I? I had a plate. I should probably, or not plate, but it's a bowl, but whatever. I'm gonna probably go put this up in a second here. And then also turn, like, turn shit off that I don't need on right now. Because it's like, what are you doing? You know? So, an issue I, I had when I was running, ow, an issue I had when I was running um, this game is uh, cutscenes uh, stutter uh, before playing each time, and um, I don't know how to fix it. So, uh, yeah, um, so that's that's that. Uh, game capture. Are you, are you capturing it? You gonna capture it? You can capture it if you know. Okay. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Alright, um, enjoy this footage for a second. I'll be right back. Oh shit. Okay. I like how they have like five clips or something of the same thing. <laughs> it's just Okay, so Resident end game now. Okay, calm down. Um uh this cinematics all work fine. The in-game cutscenes um, will have a stutter between transitions to between camera transitions and uh, certain scenes. Um, so, ninety percent of the internet suggests as your first playthrough, do Jill Valentine and uh, play Chris Redfield second playthrough, which is just kind of like a big fuck you kind of. Um, because this is the first character they have as like the option on the screen. So you'd think that maybe people, you wouldn't even know, first of all, uh, maybe, I guess if you read the manual, if there, this came with a manual, maybe it would tell you, but <sighs> Jill Valentine's the better character. And it also has funnier reactions. It's just a funnier. The Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter. I'm turning that down. Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Also, there's no uh, subtitles, so sorry about that. I, I wish there was. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Oof. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate. 
but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. It has that old school like Save for the <laughs> remaining body of Kevin. Old school like fallout like voice acting for the intro narration, which is cool. We continued our search for the other members. Chris. And it turned into a nightmare. <laughs> Stop! Don't open that door! Chris! No. <laughs> Joseph F. <laughs> no zombie dog. Come on. Hey, Rag. Where the hell's he going? Chris this way and Barry enter the survival horror there are only three stars members left oh look at how nice this door looks Barry and myself ah! we don't know where Chris is Imagine if that's what it looked like in real life, though. What Imagine if the life? entire... You know, our entire universe looked like this. House. Except that's for sure. people. Hey, this is what the metaverse Where's wants uh, reality to be. Jill, no. Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? What was that? Chris? Chris? No. No. <laughs> Jill? I'm no. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. All right. You two go. I'll see you two go. Okay. Sure. You two can go. But only this once. <laughs> thank you, Wesker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, the fucking music sounds awful. So I'm gonna turn it off. A dining room. I'm sorry, but the music has like... Really bad synthesizer, like... Horns and shit. It sounds so fucking awful. Turn it off. I like how that's also the clock. Uh, in this scene. You know what, fine, I'll turn the music on, even though it sounds completely dog shit. I'll do it like this. Uh, so we get ink ribbons. Uh... These are, like... <sighs> the These are... Very, like... I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but... You only get so many. Here's the map. The... <laughs> The compass is, is having a, a kind of a problem right now. And also tank controls. 
but not like the fun kind. This is like the, the frustrating kind that's awkward to play with because you're playing with a GameCube controller. And um, even, even like, to be fair, GameCube controller is probably somehow more, more comfortable to play than... Yeah, I don't know. And another fun thing, another fun fact, is that half the buttons, or not half of them, but there's like one button that is just completely, uh, that completely goes unused. Uh, if I can find it here. Yeah, the X button goes completely unused, and then every other control is like, the forward button is the A button. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> the attack button is the Y button. Who play- like, what alien plays on type B and especially type C? Where the forward button is the R button, like you're driving a car. <laughs> what scary animal does this? Oh yeah, defense we're gonna change to, um, manual, which is the L button, so I don't waste, uh, resources and I'd rather take damage instead. So I don't start getting frustrated whenever I end up using an item that I don't want to use. Considering it's a... Yeah, survival horror. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. Um... I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is huh? It's blood. blood. <laughs> Why'd he taste it? Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope. Okay. Her. Okay. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. It's time to enter the next room. Stars. Hello? Oh my god! I gotta get out of here! No, you gotta switch- you gotta switch the camera. Idiot. Then you'll notice it. Oh my god! I gotta get out of here! Don't shoot the zombie. Because of this cutscene. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! He took care of it. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Kenneth? Who the fuck is Kenneth? Let's report this to Wesker. Also, there's a cutscene um, that plays if you just walk out of here, first thing. Um, Wesker's still there. He's just hanging out there. He just wants to make sure that you're gone. I heard a noise. <gasps> it's gone. Barry. She's just the zombie is missing. What the heck? What the heck? Wesker! Jill, help 
me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Help me look for him. Okay, where? Better finish it, uh, searching the hall first. Okay. But how? Better finish searching the hall first. Okay. I'll try. I'm constantly fighting the game right now. Okay. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's How'd you know? Okay. I guess there's like a... There's one of those like... Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. There must have been one of those like brochure maps that uh you get at like hotels and stuff. Uh or like special like resorts or um I guess like Disney World. They must have found one at like the beginning of the room. That's how they found this. They're like, man, this place sure is big. I could get lost in here. Oh, jeez. Whoa. What the heck? Woman drawing water. It's a woman. Map? Hello? An item! Will you take the dagger? Sure. Emergency evade. Using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defense item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defense item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defense item mode is set to manual in the uh, controller settings, you uh, must press the L button to use the defense item. Okay. I got it. I can do this! Oh my god. God damn it. I I hit the button though. Bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. You can't get past this, can you? GG, idiot.
An emblem of a sword is carved into it. How would I know that? You mean this thing? Photograph sits on the frame. Maybe the per this person is connected to the mansion somehow. You know, that's a good observation. Unfortunately, my character is uh, in severe danger. What? The fool. So wait, hold on. Do I have to? No, I, I, I don't have to kill that zombie, right? That would be kind of dumb if I had to kill the zombie. I'm injured. There's a couple of things I can do on the next floors. Okay. Whoa. I love opening and closing doors. Zombie? The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. What is this? Spooky. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Large bird cage. There's a dead raven inside. Okay. Wait, plants. Will you take the green herb? This is a staple in the Resident Evil games. Okay. I'm gonna combine these two and then eat it. I'm fine. That's all I can be sometimes. Hello? Let me turn the game up now. Because I feel like it's a little quiet now. Okay. Hello? I enter the door into the next room. I think I've made a grave mistake. I'll take it. This guy's dead. For sure. fuck is this room? The fuck?
What is this? May whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. Okay, I guess I'm gonna make peace and death. Oh no! There's an emblem indentation in the middle of the dais. Or da an armor shaped emblem carved within. Well, I'm fucked. Well, I'm dead. Because <laughs> I didn't have it. I didn't grab it. So that's like the end of this playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Welcome to Resident Evil 1. That's it. There's there is nothing. <laughs> Resident Evil. I have to start a new game. Hiking. The destination can be reached rather comfortably. Mountain climbing beyond the hardships lies accomplishment. Which one do you choose? The, the question is, which best describes your opinion about games? Mountain climbing or hiking? It, it's like, I guess the, they're trying to use common sense. Hiking would be easier than mountain climbing. Um, I mean, I kind of like the idea of game journalist mode, but... Okay. Okay, no more cutscenes. Just skip to it. I love watching doors open <clears throat> okay I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna walk in here and watch here's a little cutscene you can get that gunfire I'm counting on you to investigate Joe sure thing Wesker He has so much sass in his stance. I, I was just, I'm hoping, because I, I haven't played or seen Jill much in, in any of the Resident Evil games, I'm hoping that they carry over her stupidity that she has I in this game as well as uh, Chris's. Although I don't I don't know if Chris is that bad yet. Blood. I haven't played played his version on this, but Let's see if you can find any other clue. Yeah, yeah. And then if you talk to him, there's that stupid ass shield I think they're talking about. The music is so bad. Oh my god. At least this Ah. Ah. Uh, Barry. Okay, so we go So we go over here. He ran off. He ran back in there. He even shut the door. It's the only zombie in the entire game that knows how to open and close doors. Okay, so I, I'm guessing if I walk up here. How much of this till they're like, yes, that's okay. That was enough. Okay. Here's your lock pick. Thanks. 
You, Jill, the master of unlocking. Alright, I'm gonna go back this way. And then grab the, uh... He's not even here, by the way. Will you take the emblem? Sure. You can examine items, you know. Wow. Cool. It's an old typewriter. Use an ink ribbon. Alright, you got two more of those. Use them wisely. Or else. I'm on top of it. I wonder if I squeeze, no. No. Damn. Yeah, they stop you. A dagger. This is this is this is a zombie. Use it. I gotta get out of here. Stop it. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I think he's dead. Okay. Match of man uh, map of mansion 1F. Wow. Look at that. Crazy. That's tough. Okay. How do you reload? Die, zombie. <laughs> the fool. <laughs> Eerie picture of the mansion. Guess I can't go that way. See you later, zombie. Okay. We took one out. That's that's a win for me, baby. So there's a bottom floor. 
No, there isn't. There's only a second floor. I, the bottom floor doesn't exist, so we're just gonna ignore that. I made a mistake coming here. <laughs> okay. Stop! Don't open that door! I hear you loud and clear. How do I reload my gun? I can't. Damn. That's tough. Okay, we go this way. He has something in his hand that we'll have to look at later. Okay. Open. Thanks. Yes. I'm going to constantly stumble around in this like an idiot. I'm going to look like a stupid, dumb idiot. Wait. Give me this. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. I'm re 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 ready. I'm gonna go ahead and. It's an herb that grows out in the wild in this region. Mixed herbs. Mix of two green herbs. Let me skip this for now. Come over here. It's literally a locked door. Okay. Death is everything, you know. You're not wrong, I guess. This thing's coming. This better be right. You're gonna be fucking kidding me. Can I use this? What the fuck does- What does this do? Okay, um, I guess I can't do anything with this for now. It's the first time I've seen an item I can use, but. So we have rooms over there that I can't, like, that are dead ends. Uh, we have staircase downwards to somewhere. 
So that's uh, downstairs. And there is a door all the way upstairs that we can go into. Okay. Smoke weed every day. Okay. Wait, what is this? Handgun magazine? I can reload my pistol with that. Okay. That door doesn't go anywhere, so there's only really... Oh my god! Oh my god! already used I can use that what what does it say it's locked an emblem of an armor is carved into the lock So it's the armor key. What's down here? It's locked. God damn it. Can I put the uh, the dumbass shield back so I don't have it sitting in my inventory? Yes. What is the point? <laughs> okay. They let you put stuff back. But... If there's one thing I always try to do with these, like, just games in general, is try to beat it without having to need a guide. Uh, and old games are really good at, uh, making it very cryptic. As if it almost seems necessary. And, uh, I just love it, you know? I absolutely love... God fucking damn it. Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. Watch as the zombie stumbles around. Hmm. 
No, no. No. Oh my fucking god. I am constantly fighting the controls right now. Holy shit. Okay. Push it off. There. There he is. He, he has about as much control over himself as I do, so it works out. Okay, so I guess our first item is a sapphire of some kind. Question is, what the fuck do I do with it? <laughs> um, can I combine like the shield with the gym that I am getting? Actually, there is that open room there that I did kind of go into and then did not proceed to go through. So I could try that. Okay. There it is. I don't... It is a blue gemstone. Will you take it? No. I will not. It will stay on the ground. I don't know what to do with it or what its purpose is, so I need to... I'm just gonna book it to, um... I guess that graveyard area or something? Over here? Because this is the only place I, I know where I can go somewhere, I guess? Okay, so we're in an area that does in fact have a couple places to go. Oh great. Zombie. Okay, wait, hold on, stop. I need to go this way, hold on. Just like a mummy guy or something? That's pretty cool. Um, a tomb engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Great. Oh my god, I just pulled that off. Okay. Okay, well, there's nothing else for me here. As far as I'm aware. Okay. <sighs> there's one thing I don't miss in old video games. Uh, I can put up with shitty controls. Uh, I can put up with shit graphics. But if the game is designed to be played and this game is pretending to be an open world game, but you only have one set path that you are determined to go through. And you are being forced to go through entire sections with no real goal in mind. There's no real goal here, and it's a little bit hard because I don't, I don't know what to do. There's that one key. There's that one key, but I don't even know how to get that key. And we have an emerald, a key, or not even like an emerald. I don't even know what it is. It's like a blue thing. A key. This is exploring and explored. Oh god. What 
What is that even supposed to mean? Exploring and explored. As in, like, there's still shit to do? Oh, man. I guess I'm picking up the blue gemstone. And I'm picking up... The emblem. Okay. to do can I do something with this with this when when the two have um, have run each other through the path to your destiny will open okay picture of of two knights striking each other the short sword has been thrust into the breast of the one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Can I... Okay. How were you expected to solve this in 1998? It's like... <sighs> what do you want me to do, game? You know? Okay. I'm, I'm getting close to having to pull up a walkthrough at this point because uh, I'm pretty much... Without having to basically completely trial and error every little thing, basically whittling down my resources in a survival horror game where uh, you get basically no resources. Uh... It's a tragedy. God damn it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay. In the beginning. Okay. What's the inscription say on the, the spiked one that can instantly kill you? Death is the true essence of bliss. Okay. Then what? Is that it? It's just... I guess I... I guess I'll die. The walls come in. Let's examine this key. Braving of an armor. <clears throat> this is the armor key. Okay. Okay, I got this. Alright, um...
Uh, I don't know. Emblem of a helmet. Okay, so... I've exhausted all the options except for killing... Um... The monsters, or the, the zombies. Zombies and monsters. And, yeah, there's like that one little area there which, which I guess just has a zombie in it. I mean, is there like a door I guess I can go into that's like... Has like a gym shape into it or a gin? Gym? Okay. Alright. Okay. This game's starting to piss me off. Wonder what's on the the other side of this door. There is an octagonal indentation on on the right and left of the door. Okay, the, the jewel? No. Okay. It's not necessary right now. What is necessary? Cause I don't fucking know. I don't know. I need a key with a helmet as an emblem on it. I need... Two sets of fingers. I need fucking... 30 feathers. And then I get the leather armor. And and then I'm, I'm fucking... Do it again for iron armor. Can't make out anything out in the darkness in the fog. Well, try. True survival horror. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. So <sighs> there's a door. In there. Well, I barely made it that far into the game, and I need a walkthrough. That is depressing to think about, because, fuck. 
All right, Resident Evil 1 Remake. Uh, walk through. All right. We're gonna go to Joe Mansion. That is the name of this. Every step and location in Resident Evil. IGN. Okay, find yourself table in the bird cage is handgun ammo collect uh, also collect the two herbs you gotta be fucking kidding me and upstairs and through the door and you'll see a corpse immediately in front of you ignore it for now instead head towards the mirror straight to the next facing the camera see the zombie in the mirror he's waiting to ambush you just off frame raise your gun and shoot until he drops once then rush past up the hall and grab the golden arrow and the handgun magazine. Be wary of a second zombie hiding just off frame to your left. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, the only thing I really needed here was the golden arrow that I didn't even know existed. So I guess we're going to go with that and um, I guess just figure it out. Yeah, Jill, I get it. Okay. All right. I guess we'll go grab the golden arrow, which maybe that'll be the solution to the graveyard thing. Which is guess what we need to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> e IRL. Okay. Make sure to grab the handgun ammo. Already wasted 15 bullets. Alright, we're gonna need to shoot the zombie dead with all of our ammo. Either that or we dodge him. Stop it! Grab the arrow. Take it. Okay, does this go anywhere? No. Actually, it might. All right, come here, zombie frick. God damn it. Oh, you can unlock doors, huh? I'm in danger mode. There. All right. Okay.
By the way, the walkthrough sucks. Uh, in case you're wondering, it's mostly text trying to make you, uh, trying to explain to you. They're literally trying to explain the concept of how it works or whatever. And it's like... It's like they, they, they expect you to be able to visualize exactly what they're talking about the entire time. So... I guess we have to run past this zombie. God damn it. Zombie be like... Bruh. Another one. There. We open this and we head down. I don't know what the fuck we're doing down here. But... Kinda crazy lighting. To the indentation. Do I take the Book of Curse? I... I don't know. Do I? <laughs> I... I... I don't know if I should be taking the Book of Curse. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what I'd be using it for. Because there's nothing as far as I'm aware that fits... A Book of Curse in it. But I guess I'm taking it. Yeah, it's a book titled Cur Oh! <gasps> Mansion Key. Okay. Book of Curse. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak smell or see evil when all four masks fall into place evil will awaken okay of a sword it's the sword key hmm yes quite I guess I'll use the sword key I swear to God, if there's a zombie up here. Oh, come the fuck on. <sighs> My fucking God. Okay. You know what? Can I unlock this? It's locked from the other side. Great. Great. Just fucking great. Cool. Can you go into the door, please? Okay. Alright. Okay, game. I see you. I see you putting me in, in caution uh, territory. Okay. So I think almost every door that I've seen so far uh, uses a armor key. A helmet. And then in there, there is a door. Dead body is still there. Okay, sword key can open this. Remember that? I don't know if... What else the sword key can open. Before I... I guess I... 
So I'm going in here. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder what room this is. I wonder if this is the funny dog room. Yeah. It actually jumped me for a second. Was that the funny dog room? Hi. It's with the camera angle. A bathroom. Okay. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Oh my god. Off of me. What? It doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. What the fuck? This is what I get? A dagger. Okay. Still works. I get a dagger for that cutscene. <laughs> Dude. So there's two doors here. There's a funny door here, which we enter slowly. Take your time. It's okay. Um, creepy room. Other door. Another dagger. Okay. Acrid smell permeates in the air. Okay. Ink ribbon. And a shotgun. Do I take the shotgun? What did I just do? Uh, I'm gonna put the shotgun back on. Yeah, nice try, idiot. I need to have some kind of decoy for me to grab that. So I will not grab the shotgun for now. I don't need a fucking shotgun. Why would I need a shotgun? But I guess this room like starts closing in if you don't have the if you decide to grab it. Okay. Oh shit. This might be the room. This might be the new save spot for a little bit. The first one that you get. Let me see. So this is the. Yeah. So we want to enter here. Check it. <laughs> Got 
God damn it. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. Okay. Ah. This is the new save point for a minute. Yay. Very important room because you get the fuel canteen. You also get still plenty of kerosene left. Fuel the uh, refuel the uh, the kerosene, which is important. We're gonna save real quick. Wait, no, 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 not yet. Let me see if we can actually light the zombie. Can actually Oh yeah, no, we need the lighter. That's right. Yeah, no, we actually need the lighter. I forgot about that. So once we find the lighter, which we won't get yet, um then we can burn the bodies and then they won't turn into um scary monsters. Wait. There's a lantern lying on the top of the supplies. The warm light makes you relax make any sense so also um this is where we want to put our uh whatever you want to call it you want to put them in here you have all these key items as well go ahead and take some of these but we're going to be putting these ink splot thingies into there. And pretty much we'd be coming back to... We'd be coming back to it. Because um, I believe the crates all carry over, if I recall. I think they all carry over between each other. So... This item box is nice. I don't know what to do with these other items yet. Uh, the sword key, I guess we keep that. And then the um, emblem and blue gemstone. I guess we'll just keep a hold of that for now. But, yeah, pretty much that's just how it be. I can't, like, move the items or whatever. But yeah, this is a very, very lovely um, save music. Boom, boom, boom. It's good. It's good stuff. So we grab that and then So chemical shotgun and grenades. Do not exit the room back to the main hall as this is this will cause Barry to hand you acid rounds. Making the shotgun inaccessible later in this guide. Okay. So wait. Okay. Um, you will notice there's a flashing item on the statue in the first floor map. Okay. The dresser stuck. Do not exit back to the hall but instead open the door back to reset its location obtain the map proceed through okay once you step into this hall take the metal door and see on the left grab the chemical as you 
and as many herbs as you can carry, but make sure that you leave one. What the fuck is the chemical? What are you talking about, chemical? What? Shotgun shortly. Also, you can always uh, eat or combine herbs to free up inventory. Okay. Okay. Getting the sh that shotgun. An obvious trap. There is no risk or death even in this guide. Hasn't been followed completely. So go ahead and exit this room. Okay. So apparently you can grab the shotgun early if you don't meet Barry. Oh my god, okay. So there's also... Okay. So, go grab shotgun and exit the room. Healing items, chemical... Since we do not have a lighter yet, go ahead and keep the flask deposited. Head back- why does it matter? Okay. Head back out with the three empty item slots, head up the stairs, and try to avoid as much zombies as possible. Then head east into the right, uh, right into backward C-shaped hallway. Once you notice that there is a table on the wooden mount it uh, to get the wooden mount, on the lamp shelf, then head right, and dodging the zombie. You will also find a small, sturdy, sturdy search room, and find the dog whistle, a magazine, and the lighter. If you killed a zombie in the stairway hall, you may want to burn them now to keep them from coming back as crimsons. Use the can canteen. Okay. Fuck me. Okay. This game is, uh, dumb. Maybe that's why people like it. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it's not as complicated as I'm making it. I need to go grab the shotgun. Let me go gr grab the shotgun. Wait, what? Door looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyways, I guess. What, can I not enter that room anymore? Fucking hell. I didn't grab the shotgun before, so now guess what? You don't get to grab the shotgun again. You're fucked. You've soft locked yourself out of the game. Good, good job, idiot. No ammo in my pistol. None. Okay, we're gonna grab the shotgun. Yep. Oh my god. Oh god. What did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! Grab my hand! 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> That was a close one. <laughs> Second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> Barry is truly, truly one of the best characters in the series. Okay. We have the shotgun now, so I'm going to follow what they say and head up here. So they say come up here and then go towards the back of the room, which is this way. Avoiding the zombie like a boss and heading into here. Got it. Now there is a funny green herb. Green herb. Unlit fireplace. And a map of the of the place. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet. Damn. They got me good. <laughs> Smart girl. Or <laughs> clever girl. <laughs> Smart girl. I don't even see the quote right. Zombie? Oh! <laughs> Ow! 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 What? But... But... Fine, we're good. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. I gotta get the fuck out of here. No! God damn it, you fucking idiot! <sighs> fucking piece of shit. Fucking shitty ass fucking controls. Fucking piece of shit. Fucking shitty piece of shit controls. Sucker. God fucking damn it. Get the fuck out of here. Leave me alone. It's locked. <sighs> okay, I can't go this way.
Oh, god damn it. God fucking damn it. Ow, my hand. Dude, I, I genuinely, I, I don't think I can play this. <laughs> it's so fucking, oh my god, true survival horror. You can soft lock yourself out of the game, baby. Hell yeah. But yeah, no, this game truly is a game that gives me this feeling of, um, knowing that it is so sensitive and delicate, you know, normally AAA games, like, would have, like, safeguards, so you don't have to restart the entire game, and, um, my god, I mean, the only other game that I feel like somewhat perfectly captures what this game also kind of does is um, Alien Isolation with its uh, <sighs> uh, saving stations. Gotta love my saving stations. Um, don't load. <laughs> I'm gonna choose to not load. But, oh my god. This is one of those, um, watch someone else play this game, game. Uh, cause, oh my god. I don't think, I don't think my, I can handle this at all. Like, I don't think my ADHD can handle this game. Uh, genuinely, it's just like. It's like, I can fucking piece of shit. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know. I I need like I need like a break from it so I can reassess uh everything. I just I just need to reassess. Um cuz holy shit. Uh hmm. Yeah, no, I literally, I literally cannot bring myself to keep playing that. I, I, I just, it's fucking, it's bad. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but for somebody who, I just, man, oh my god, the, the controls, I, the tank controls, holy shit. Like, maybe I need to play it more. Maybe I need to pull, like, a Dark Souls, like, fanboy and just force myself to endure, um, hard game until I enjoy it. Like, basically, like, punching myself in the gut over and over again until I enjoy it. Um, maybe. Uh, I feel like I want to play, like, a more competent game. Uh, I like, you know, I kind of like the idea of exploration, um, exploring a, a building and like going through different doors and stuff and then trying to solve puzzles and stuff. That's somewhat fine, but the controls and the camera angle, just the, the entire other portion of the main game is complete, is a massive deterrence for me. I am not a fan of the tank controls in this game. Uh, trying to run down the stairs and then the depth perception not giving me the perfect angle to where I was like, I don't know, like that that part where 
I was going to run down the stairs and then my character decided to drift to the left because I was slightly drifting my controller to the left or something. Something like that happened. And then my character getting stuck on the pole because I couldn't, like, my brain couldn't process that I wasn't f just far enough to where I could go down the stairs. Uh, was um, next level um, pain and uh, frustration. And um, I don't, I don't know how people can endure that. I think there's a lot of something to be had there, but I don't know if I want to waste my precious time in life doing that. I don't think I want to waste my life um, trying to beat Resident Evil One. Uh, using an IGN walkthrough. Uh, I have a feeling that if I knew exactly what to do with the game the entire time, or if I wasn't streaming, I could probably maybe take more time to play it, but the fact that I needed to even pull up a guide, uh, because I did not want to have to frustratingly go through... I already know... Knowing, going into this, that there are, there is a certain door, there's certain doors that will open, but only everyone, like, you get, like, three chances with the door. So, like, if you open it, then you have two times you can open it again, and then one more time, and then no more times, and then the door is completely broken. Um, and then there's the frustrating part uh, with having to have a zombie take 5 million hits and then having to fight the controls um trying to cons there it's imp stupid it's it's stupid with how how hard it is to because in a survival horror game you want to try to conserve your ammo but then it's like you want to conserve your stuff but then it's like it's impossible to do it it's it's really, really hard to do. And it's just like, I don't know if I want to waste my time doing it. Um, and then Resident Evil Zero does the same thing. Uh, I don't think I need... I think I can live the rest of my life knowing I don't need to play Resident Evil 1 or 0. Um, I, I think I'm good on that one. I think... Uh, Next Resident Evil game, I'm going to move on to Resident Evil 2, the remake one, where I won't have to... F Somebody tried to convince me to play the the original, because there's a the B side where you're playing as the girl is just the same map with some changes to it, and the other one, I guess, is a different scenario, or like you go through a different area or something like that, I don't know. But, um, uh, yeah, I don't care. Um, I just know that Resident Evil 2 is a good game. And, uh, I also want to try Resident Evil, uh, Biohazard. Or Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I don't know why they put Biohazard at the end. That just that's just kind of dumb. So Resident Evil Seven and then Resident Evil Village, which has more positive reviews than Resident Evil Seven. I also kind of want to try Resident Evil Revelations at some point, and then uh, Resident Evil Six at some point maybe. But uh, I don't know about that. Um. Anyways. Okay, I'm I'm done. Uh I have work tomorrow and um I'm gonna be working for like four days and then I have a day off and then I'm working let me check actually just to be sure that that's true. Let me see. Unless this is yeah, I'm working really dumb, annoying shifts, having a day off, and then working Saturday, and then 
having another day off. So I guess we'll be streaming if nothing else happens. Um, I might be streaming on Wednesday and um, Friday if nothing ha ends up happening that day. And then um, Saturday, no. They want me to work till close that day. They want me to work eight and a half hours that day. So nope, not doing that. But Sunday, um, I could maybe work in a shift on or shift. I could probably work in a stream on Sunday. And then I have those days. Uh, not looking forward to um, any of it. I'm definitely not looking forward to tomorrow. Because I'm working till close tomorrow. And then I have to come in the next day at 7 a.m. So pretty much uh, I only have that morning, really, to do whatever. So yeah, I just want to have whatever time I have left now until I basically... Uh, just gonna be working really shit, garbage shifts. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, I, uh... <sighs> we will see. They have me working some weird shifts next week. Uh, yeah, those are kind of weird shifts. Again, I don't know why the fuck they're doing this to me. This, they, it's even more fucked whenever, um, they told me that that wasn't gonna happen. And they do it anyways. So that's really, really cool of them to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I wanna, uh, uh, I don't know. I want to do something right now. Uh, so, fucking whatever. Uh, have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to probably continue watching the video for a little bit and then probably go back to modding uh, GTA 4 again. Go back to doing that and then... Um, probably gonna maybe try to play that, or at least get it ready to be played, with all the the mods that I'm installing into it. Um, tomorrow maybe, or either that or I play some more Resident Evil for tomorrow on my own. Uh, I don't know, but um, right now I am trying to get my own shit dealt with life stuff so hopefully um i can get that going uh what sucks is uh that i pretty much will have to work weekends i guess unless i asked for the weekends off um that would be kind of nice i don't know maybe but again, I'd have to I have to do some other bull shit for it. So okay, um, maybe I'll do a longer stream. But I just didn't want to <laughs> keep playing this game, and I don't want to. I I would hop on Resident Evil Four. Um, but I'm like at a point in time. It's like I've already played through the game on stream. I've already beaten the game on stream. So. I don't need to do that again until the remake where it will matter. So, yeah. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, and Enter the Gungeon, although it would be kind of fun to play Enter the Gungeon. Uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling it right now. You know, my, I just want to mod GTA 4 and then Maybe play it for like 15 minutes and then never play it again. I don't know. I actually want to beat GTA 4. I've never beaten GTA 4 
but I actually want to beat it, but with some mods to make it a little bit more uh, exciting um, and hard as well. I mean, it's it's kind of a hard game, but I want to make it feel even more um, substantial, if that makes sense. Uh, so whenever I do beat it, it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be good t good time. So we'll see. And uh, I know I never beat it on stream, but that's just you know how it works. Sometimes you don't have to play a game to its entirety on stream. I know some people would prefer you to do that. Obviously, I should. I mean, I really should beat Silent Hill 2. Or sorry, Silent Hill 3, my bad. I really do probably need to beat Silent Hill 3, but um, I could not for the life of me find like a save point, and I got pretty far into that one area, and then I was just basically cucked like last second. Um, so, at least I beat Silent Hill 2. That's, that's good. And the new Silent Hill 2 remake is coming out. Silent Hill 3, I really do need to, like, play through it and beat it. But I'd have to play through it again on here. Unless I found a way to download my save and then upload it to my new computer. Which I don't feel like doing. That's a lot of work. Uh... So, I'll do that at some point. Another thing is I still need to beat Far Cry. I still need to beat Far Cry, th like, 1. Which I guess I'm not going to do yet. I don't know. That game is, is something else. That's a piece of work, I tell you what. Uh, I don't think I installed any mods for it, luckily. Um... So, yeah, I still need to upload the one stream I did. Let me see here uh, which one it was. It was the, I up, I edited the footage and then I, I guess it was the, it was one of these um Enter the Gungeon streams. I think it was the, some Toho rip up. Yeah, that one. I need to upload that, that one to the VOD channel, and then I need to upload the other streams that I've done to the VOD channel as well, and then upload, obviously, the PC Builder stream to a um, channel, or to the VOD channel. Just get those uploaded as soon as possible, which I haven't been doing, so I will probably do that. Um, but yeah, no, again, um, sorry for, like, Streams not coming out, you know, on a regular basis. It's like, again, I have no schedule. I literally cannot have a schedule because my schedule for work is completely erratic. Uh, and I know two days out of the week specifically are days where I can't do it other than one of the days unless the next day after it uh, out of those two days out of the week. Unless the next day after it ends up being like, um, what is this? Oh, yeah, it ends up being like a, another shift where I have to wake up early, you know, in the morning. So it's like, I don't know. It's either I come home from work and then stream for a couple hours as soon as I come home from work and then spend the rest of that day off. It's just like I don't want to end up doing that because I still want I want time at home to do what I want to do. So uh this is kind of like a test stream anyways, so uh maybe I'll I'll try to find something more substantial that we can do a longer stream on. Maybe by on Wednesday maybe I'll have something. We might do Resident Evil 2. Not the original, fuck that. Uh, the remake one. We'll maybe try to do that. Or we'll do Black Mesa and see if I can actually stream that game uh, on one computer because I'm having issues with the um, doing like a dual PC setup because I noticed there is no desktop audio coming from my, my main, com the gaming computer. The desktop audio is not coming over to the stream computer. So 
I, I it's like I don't even know how to deal with that. So I'm guessing I need to go. Get, I need to get a Go XLR. I guess. Um, I have no idea whatsoever. I would like to know, and I would like to figure it out, but I really did, probably should get a Steam Deck. Or sorry, Steam Deck. Um, the Stream Deck. Um, I think that's what they call it, the Stream Deck, and then the um Go XLR. Those two things would probably be next, as well as uh VR. Um, getting a a VR headset and the um to start doing VR streams, but that's like in the future, maybe. Uh yeah. Anyways, um, have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Uh yeah. Uh.